Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can get registered as an architect in USA. This video will be a really informative video for all of you. So try watching this video till the end and without any delays, let's get started with the video guys. So guys, we will start with two scenarios. First scenario is you are doing a master's from USA and your master's is NAP accredited. What is NAB? NAB is National Architecture Accreditation Board. This holds a very important position in your registration journey. So if your course is NAB registered or NAB accredited, then you will directly go and register for NCARB records. NCARB is National Council for Architecture Registration. So this body controls all the registration recording and all your experience recording. So this board will be controlling that. And if you have done your masters, you will be going and getting yourself registered in NCARB. And the cost for the registration would be $1,280. So this is the first process and this is for people who have done masters from NAB accredited course. Scenario number two. In this, you have done masters or somehow you are in USA and now you want to get yourself registered as an architect. In this case scenario, you will have to go and get your education accredited. For this, you have another services that is EESA that stands for Education Evaluation Service for Architects. In this, you will have to forward all your transcripts, all your data, all your education history to EESA and then they will send this and evaluate this through NAB and NCARB. So NAB basically controls EESA and EESA evaluates your entire education based on guidelines given from NCARB. So this is how this process goes. After going through all this process, now you can start recording your hours. You have to record 3740 hours in total. And this is not just working in a firm and doing something, not like that. You will have to gain experience in certain position and certain points. For example, before we move ahead, I would like to request all of you to please support the channel and subscribe to my channel. A lot of you are not subscribing. I know it is tiring, but what it does is it supports my channel. It supports me, encourages me to keep making such videos. It's really difficult having a full-time architectural job and having a part-time job and keep making these videos. It takes a lot of research, a lot of efforts, a lot of editing. Sometimes I feel like giving up, but a lot of you are supporting as well. So keep supporting and please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to my channel. Let's continue. First key experience area is practice management. That is 160 hours. Next is project management, 360 hours. Program analysis, 260. Project planning and designing, 1080 hours. Then project development and documentation, 1520 hours. Construction and evaluation, 360 hours. And this accumulates and gives you 3740 hours. So it's a very, very big journey to complete. And after you complete this, you will have to go ahead and register for an examination. This examination will take you through again through the journey of this six subjects where you will have exam papers ranging from two hours to three and a half hours. And you have to complete these examination to get yourself registered as an architect after completing 3,740 3, hours. There are few ways in which you can register and document few hours that is additional. First is through volunteering work. If you volunteer for a construction company or an organization that is registered under NCARB or under NAAB, that organization can give you hours for 
certain certain aspects that you will be working with that organization total 340 hours is allowed by doing volunteering work you don't have to be employed over there you are just a volunteer so you can cover this uh, there are few other ways in which you can go through few courses so one course is certified construction specifier and second course is certified construction contract administrator these both courses can give you 40 hours each that means more 80 hours you can generate through these courses and this is the overall process to get registered in USA if you want any more details i will be sharing a link for the pdf in the description so go ahead and check that out and if you like this video go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel guys i do put in a lot of efforts finding these out and finding these pdfs these resources and asking people around so please do support my channel it will mean a lot to me and it will in fact encourage me to keep making such videos for you guys so go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel take care of yourself bye bye